Ready? One, two, three. How'd that happen? Okay, let me show you what I did, okay? It's actually right here, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. Where'd that go? <laughs> so do you know how this magic trick worked? I distracted you, okay? So when I went like this, and you were looking really close to my hand, I put the pen right here. And when I was showing you how this disappeared, I took the coin and put it in my back pocket. Oh. I distracted you. You see how distraction can be not good for you, right? Let me show you another way you might be being distracted, okay? Um, what's the most important thing in your life like, that you think about a lot? School. School, because you care about the future, right? So let me show you how you might be being distracted. How long do you think you'll be alive from now to the time you pass away? 80 years, maybe? Okay. How long is eternity? Much longer, right? So, don't you think it would make more sense to think about eternity a lot more than we think about what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear, how we're going to make our money, right? So let me show you how you might be being deceived in another way and distracted. Do you see yourself as a good person? In some ways. Okay, let me check this out. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? So what does that make you? Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you, ever? Yeah. What do you call people who steal? Steal. A thief. So does that make you? A thief. A lying thief. Have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. So by your admission, you're just like me. I too am a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that the definition of a good person? No. And if you die today and eternity started now, do you think God will find you innocent or guilty when you, you shall not lie? Innocent or guilty? Guilty. Should God let guilty people into heaven? So we're in trouble, right? Do you know what God did for you to forgive you? He died on the cross and goes on the third day. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? Who goes to heaven? Do you know why good people do not go to heaven? They don't exist. The Bible says in Romans 3.10, there is no one righteous, not even one. There's no one good, not even one. Romans 3.23 says this, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We're all sinners, we're not good, right? We all deserve judgment. But God loved you so much, He died on the cross. He was punished for you and for me. So if you repent and put your faith in Jesus, that's how you're forgiven. Do you know John 3.16 in the Bible? It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him will not perish never will have life. Faith in Jesus is how you're saved. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did you know how to go to heaven before I walked up to you? No. Do you believe what I just shared with you from the Bible? Yes. Yeah. Would you like to ask Jesus to, to be your Lord and forgive you right here, right now, and settle it forever? Oh, we do that at church. Okay. Make Appreciate you, it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much for talking to me. God, God bless, bless you. That's for you. Where do you guys go to church? Uh, we go to Catholic church. I'm okay. Whittier. Let me show you one verse in the Bible, okay? For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. According to the Bible, nothing you can do can save you. Salvation is a gift. All the works that you're going to do come after you're saved. It's a result of salvation. Works don't cause salvation. God bless you. Good day. Bless you.